Aloha, my name is Ali'i Carvalho. I will be reading Magic for Sale, written by Carrie Clickard, illustrated by John Shelley. On the corner of Hemlock and Blight, skulks the shop of Miss Pustula Knight. With a sign on the stair, come inside, but beware, the unwelcome mat's likely to bite. She sells cupboards that you can walk through and strange mirrors that talk back to you. Crusted cauldrons for brewing, dry dragon for chewing, and a rug that a genie once flew. You can buy mushroom huts for your gnome, clanking chains if your beasts like to roam, snoozing bats for your ceiling, candied mummies for peeling, or a monster who needs a good home. But it wasn't these marvels and more that lured Georgie McQuist to the store. Miss Knight kept a ghost hidden in a room marked forbidden where her customers couldn't explore. And though all the town's children had tried, the shop specter had never been spied. Georgie'd been double dared, so he came well prepared. He was going ghost hunting inside. Creak. Georgie snuck to the store's darkest shelf and slid next to the fresh pickled elf. There he stayed out of sight till the doors were locked tight and he had the whole place to himself. Then he peered past strange plants and perfumes, pawed through caskets and baskets and brooms till he tripped on a trap and bang, down flipped a flap and he dropped to the shop's hidden rooms. Oof! Oh, what now, Georgie heard someone say. There's no ghostal delivery today. He lay still as a boulder till a hand squeezed his shoulder. It's a ghost, it's alive, run away. Georgie giggled, wait, you can't be scared. You're the reason I got double dared. The ghost poked out his head. I can't help being dead, but scary, not me, he declared. I got caught painting stripes on the Sphinx with Miss Knight's rarest vanishing inks. When she fed it a pest or an unwanted guest, they would crawl right back out through the chinks. So she banished me here to this room to count every last treasure and tomb. I can't get this list right and more crates come each night. I will never get out of this gloom. The ghost slumped on a coffin to pout. Georgie said, hey, since I can't get out, let me help you with your list. We'll be sure nothing's missed. Now let's see, where's the minced monster snout? They counted totems, poppets, potions, jinxes, riddle books to charm your sphinxes, stink bug soup with crunchy eyes, dragons of a dainty size, rings that make you two feet tall, spider webs to drape your wall, Flutes that play a banshee's wails, armor made of dragon scales. Talking owls complete with tree, a book on ancient alchemy. A gruesome giant's hairy toe, the pen of Edgar Allan Poe. A wishing toad with warty spots, a zombie dog that never rots. Tarot cards and crystal balls, a goat to, a go a ghost to haunt your castle halls. Snakes pulled from Medusa's hair, a map to find a pirate's lair, freeze-dried ghoul and dragon drool, a kraken for your swimming pool, bracelets made of goblin teeth, self-serve graves including wreath. Phew! They were done! Every spell, spook, and scare. Boo hooray! The ghost swirled through the air. Now I'd like to help you. Tell me what I can do. Georgie shrugged. I just came for the dare. but I've got to get out of the store and back to my bedroom before. Then kaboom, came the snap of the trap door's big flap and Miss Knight landed thump on the floor. I was tucked in my four ghoster bed, quite enjoying some beetles on bread when your ruckus and rumpus woke Fifi and Grumpus. So we've come down to eat you instead. Oh no, please, the ghost twisted his sheet. Take a look, with his help, it's complete. Miss Knight snatched up the list. I see three things you missed. 
one young pest and two big hairy feet. If you're here when I've counted to four, then young man, you'll belong to my store. Take your monster and scat. He's not mine. Tell him that. Out you go. And she showed them the door. Don't go yet, the ghost slid out to say. Since I'm not stuck downstairs, we could play. How about Wednesday next week? We can play hide and shriek. Count me in, Georgie said. Boo hooray. Georgie turned to his monster and said, let's get home before mom checks my bed. He had faced his friend's dare and tomorrow he'd share. It was their turn to be scared instead. Thank you so much for reading with me. I hope you have a great day. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe to Gotham Reads for more of your favorite children's books read aloud daily.